people caring for people. Compassion. That's the foundation Gotham was built on. And I have proudly built Golf Corp on that same foundation. That's why we're called the People Company. Thank you so much. Please. Mr. Boyle seems to be after your title as Gotham's biggest philanthropic industrialist. Gotham needs more people like him. Bruce! Hey. <laughs> I am blown away by your support. It's well deserved. You're going to change the world, Ferris. Hey, we'll change it together, right? Pardon me, Mr. Boyle. The press is waiting well, this way, please. I'd say the future is looking hmm. very, very bright for Gotham. Now, it's almost midnight, and you all know what that means. Let's get this New Year's Eve party going with the... Whew. Forget to pay your heating bill, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid of an old man. Ugh. Just take it easy. <laughs> Hope that vase wasn't worth something. Oh, look at the rich boy. So long, Bruce. I've been through worse. These are Penguin's men. What do they want with Ferris? I'm not sure. They're being led by someone in a mechanized suit. I need to find Ferris before they do. Well, you're no use to us dressed like that. You need to put on your other suit. The closest entrance to the Batcave is in the study. There's Bruce! He'll help us! Bruce! Bruce, do you have a minute? Someone said an iceberg just appeared, exploded in the ballroom. I need details. What happened? Who do you think... Where's Ferris? He never made it to the interview. Wait, you're not going out there alone, are you? Stay with Alfred. He'll keep you safe. With these guests about, perhaps you should look for that uh, <clears throat> item in the wine cellar. Right. Bruce, these are dangerous men. Let's just wait for the police. Be careful passing through the library, sir. Penguin's men have infiltrated the entire manor. You keep out of harm's way. No more heroics. These animals don't frighten me. Alfred. You'd better get to the wine cellar before I have to take on Penguin's entire gang myself. There's no time for dilly-dallying, Master Bruce. Get to the wine cellar. It's through the library. Those men are armed. I'm going to have to take them down quietly if I don't want to get shot. Don't forget, I called dibs on those perms. I'm taking them before he torches me. Yeah. 
Expensive or what? We're inside Wayne Manor, Dukes. It's all expensive. So why is Penguin got us working with this Mr. Freeze? Why do you think? Did you see? Wait! Where do you keep your money, huh? come out of that cave more than once a week, you'd know that the bat cave entrance is in the wine cellar's tasting room. Look for the statue. yourself in that tunnel, sir. It's still suffering from the damage our visitor did on Christmas Eve. I caught a glimpse of your mechanized man. These hooligans are calling him Mr. Freeze. You might consider donning your extreme environment suit. The XE suit? It's not ready for deployment. Oh dear. I hear helicopters. More penguin brutes. Do hurry. I don't have time to prep the XE suit for deployment. I'll need Alfred to put the finishing touches on it. Why did you get back to the manor and find Ferris before Penguin's men do? Before you ask, the formula we used for your glue grenades was unstable. What was left after Christmas Eve was degraded into dust. I've managed to get most of the guests into the east and south wings, but... Hey, it's the butler! Alfred. Alfred!
signal from Alfred. I'd better find another way into the library. Silly jade statue, then. And I'm sure your employer will enjoy the hundreds of dollars that will garner on the black market. Hey, old timer. I only need to Oh, you've burned several hundred thousand dollars for the most of 11 cents in China. But by all means, it's not yet. the safety, but the Wayne Crest is blocking the exit. This way. That was amazing. You just picked those goons apart. Shh, quiet. They've got Ferris Boyle in the next room. I, I think they're going to kill him. Sir, are you all right? Thanks to you, the hero of Christmas Eve come to rescue us from the... Can I trust you'll get these people to safety? Um, of course. Now that you've dealt with most of these hooligans... You should restore power to your sprinkler system to deal with these fires. Not to worry. I won't allow Wayne Manor to burn to the ground. The Waynes are in your debt. You know, you really should do an exclusive with me. The people want to know what you're all about. I've got more important things to do. This is important. You've become a hot issue for this city. You need to state for the record what you're trying to accomplish. My actions state that loud and clear. Thank you for the risk. You've got a new supporter in me. Thanks again. Mr. Boyle needs your Are you here to stop these maniacs? Don't do this! Keep struggling, Boyle. Yeah, you wanna get shot? Mr. Freeze is on the way. Who, who did you say? Hit the back! We need to 
get you out of here. I... I heard about you. I have no quarrel with you. Then you crashed the wrong party. Freeze? What do you want with me? I just require a moment of your time. Let me go! Help! Help me! Oh no. like Freeze isn't the only one with a cryogenic weapon. This door is frozen shut. I'll need to enter the ballroom through the balcony. Freeze is gone. One of Penguin's goons will know where that chopper's going. Is he taking Ferris? I, I don't know. I promise. Do you have any idea how many of your friends I sent to the hospital on Christmas Eve? Look, one of Penguin's dealers. He stole out the weapons Freeze gave us. He must know. We were supposed to meet up in South Gotham. You can meet up in the emergency room instead. someone like Ferris Boyle. It's sickening. I know you'll bring him to justice, sir. I'll see this one wheeled into Blackgate on a gurney. V2 dispatch, confirming that code 3. Looks like these anarchy fanatics are taking advantage of the lack of police presence down here. Roger, V2. Continue to monitor. Do not engage without backup. <laughs> no chance of that. I should deal with those anarchy followers. But first I need to track down Penguin's dealer and find out where Freeze has taken Ferris.
Without some help. I can't do this on my own. Finding Penguin's dealer is the key to finding Freeze. I should scan this area for clues that might tell me where he went. Whatever this substance is, it's slowly shutting his systems down. Putting him into cryostasis, I won't be able to safely remove him from the ice without the thermal gloves built into the XE suit. The officer just chanced upon Penguin's men. He wasn't equipped to deal with this cryotech, but the cryo gun was leaking. If I hurry, this trail will lead me right to Penguin's men. Then I can make them tell me where this tech came from. Alfred, Penguin's men are using cryogenic weapons to encase innocent people in ice. I'm going to need the thermal gloves and the XC suit to break them free. I'll get to work immediately, sir. Any idea where these weapons are coming from? I'll get that answer when I catch up with Penguin's dealer. They're in temporary cryostasis. I'll need my thermal gloves to safely release them. Where's Freeze? You think I know? You plan on celebrating the new year in traction? Okay, okay. He, he made a deal with Penguin. Weapons in exchange for some stiff. Uh, uh, Ferris Boyle. He's in Gothcorp last I saw. You're lying. Gothcorp doesn't make weapons. What? No, I... Uh, Gothcorp, I swear. Look, I've got the entry codes. I'll take those. doesn't make sense. Gothcorp involved in weapons tech. There's got to be more to this.
Dispatch 5-5. Five five. We got no contact with units on the bridge. Should sure think, boss. What are you going to do with me? You? <laughs> Assuming your friend keeps cooperating, I'm sure we won't have to do anything, you know, drastic. men were armed. How'd you do that? Where are they taking Ferris? Mr. Boyle? They, uh, they're heading to the propellant research wing. These guys have been raiding the whole facility. Do you have the codes to this security door? No, I don't have clearance. But my boss does. A bunch of them took him to the organics lab, through the lobby. I'll make sure they don't hurt your boss. Get yourself to safety. so shy all of a sudden, huh? What happened to that spirit of sharing? I... I'm cooperating! I'm cooperating! I know, I know, but we all got jobs, see? And, and my job is to shoot you if I don't think you're telling me the truth! I told you there are no weapons here! It's just plants! Tissue research! Yeah, you see, and, and my job is to shoot you... You got me! Hello?
I saw you on GNN. You just saved my life. You have codes I need to access the propellant research wing. I do. Here. Take them. You're going to save Mr. Boyle, right? It's not safe inside Gothcorp. You need to get out of here. Don't worry. I won't be hanging around. And, uh, thanks, you know? Not just for me. For Gotham. work on the XC suit coming. Slowly, sir. I'm encountering ice formations impeding my progress. The thermal gloves would certainly help you with that. I'm working as quickly as I can. Keep me posted. We got now, where the hell's Rick? You're supposed to be this here for the security pass. I know that. That's him. Why are you asking us? We're walking with you. Knock it off. Take what you got trouble. We don't get the hit. That'll go double for us. I guess we wait for Bitsy to show. You know, I can't wait to see you explain this brilliant plan to Penguin's face. That showed up! Boyle, or I'll freeze this entire room. Oh, I know you won't. Boyle's got the code you need, and I ain't giving him up. Unless I get what he's giving you. What's behind this door is of no interest to you. What I'm interested in is the weapons I would promise. I know you're old enough. This will 
Why does he need Boyle? Boyle's got codes he needs to access some kind of super weapon. And now you let him have it! That ice is the only thing saving you from getting the beating you deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you ought to save our friend Mr. Boyle, yeah? But you'll never break through this ice. Gothcorp has a device. It's uh, uh, like a drill. A cryo drill. Tell me where it is. I had my men bring all our uh, acquisitions to the My Alibi nightclub. For safekeeping, of course. Then you better hope your men are still at my alibi. If I want to break through this barrier of ice, I'd better get to the My Alibi nightclub before Penguin's men decide to relocate. Emergency. Propellant research bay compromised. Initiate evacuation procedures and danger. Critical failure in stage two. Fueling process. Emergency protocols in effect. Without the XE suit, I'd never survive in that cloud of cryo vapor. See suit able to survive inside one of these clouds. Where'd you come from? That was incredible! Come with me. I'm getting you out of here. Thanks for getting me out of there. What are you gonna do now? After I've recovered the cryo drill, I'm coming back here to save Ferris. But isn't Freeze gonna try to stop you? With any luck. Alfred, what's the status of the XC suit? I've just finished loading it into a drop container. Good news. I'm on my way to my alibi to recover a stolen cryogenic drill. Have the Batwing drop it there. It's on its way. Suit 
aircraft incoming, sir. Thermal gloves should help you deal with most ice you encounter, sir, and the suit will provide... Sir, I suggest you deal with the last of these activists as soon as you're able. The honeycomb structure insulates against extreme cold without increasing weight. It won't slow me down a bit. I can use a thermocharged batarang to bring that ice down on top of those thugs. I'm getting a new part. Come on, you guys! charge a batarang, I can use it to knock out that frozen security lock. Listen, we ain't going nowhere till you tell me exactly where the money's stashed. I, I told you, I don't work here. Then what are you doing in the back office, huh? Come on, I'm... I'm freezing. Quit whining. At least your drink is cold. Please, you gotta help. Clock sticking. You stole a cryogenic drill from Goth Corp. Well, yeah, by the night here. Penguin said to sell off the parts. It's in pieces. Where are they? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Just don't drop me off a roof, okay? Maybe next time. Sir, your map has been updated with the locations of the components you'll need to rebuild the cryogenic drill. Thanks, Alfred. I'm on it.
I've assembled the cryo drill, but it requires some kind of superconducting fluid to operate. Ah, here it is, sir. An organic supercoolant used in an experimental lab run by one Victor Freeze. As in Mr. Freeze. It seems too great a coincidence to ignore. It says here that Ferris had Mr. Freeze's lab shut down. If he's a disgruntled employee out for revenge, then this is about more than just stealing weapons tech. The Freeze's lab is under quarantine. Some kind of accident. I'm on my way back to Goth Corp now.
I'll need to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. <laughs> he can't get this. It's not while the lab's full of cryovapor. Thick with thick. So long as that cryovapor up and up. He can't get into your small lab. Cryovapor, right? Just look at cryovapor. Kill that man. Somebody was supposed to kill that son of a bitch. We got the first switch. What's he do? We got a plan beyond the usual shoot him to hell. The lab's still full of cryovapor. Fans in I think you're safe. If you manage to get the fans back on, how much of the vapor does that work? Then, you charge in. Focus guy brought extra ammo.
I'll need to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. There's more going on here than a simple accident. This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as Freeze's. I should set up a crime scene. Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating. This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. The trail ends here. I should scan for more evidence. Two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. These palm prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die. Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super-cooled survival suit. Extreme pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryo-vapors from the resulting explosion. The evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Freeze's cryocannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. The cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard. But the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. Freeze was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea, but this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryo weapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, 
but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. The supercoolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. Send Gordon the evidence I've gathered on Boyle's crimes. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. I know you had high hopes for what Ferris could do for Gotham. That doesn't matter now. Victor's plan was never to kill Boyle. He needs Boyle's security access to get his wife out of God Corp. That's all he wants. And now, you're going to stop him? I have to. And are you still going to need that gurney? I am. But not for Victor. You know what I'm gonna do? When I get out of here, I'm gonna have Candy pour me a nice hot bath. And then I'm gonna drown you in it! Uh, I'm trying, boss. This ice is tough. Oh, you completely get mothered! zero and we'll see if I need any. You don't have the guts to do it. Keep stalling and the cold will do it for me. Victor, you have to let him go. I'm taking my wife. You can't stop me. I know the truth and so will the police. Boyle will face judgment for his crimes. It, it was an accident! You don't know what you're talking about! What? Nothing matters, do you understand? Nothing! 
nothing but my Nora! You've endangered lives all over this city. Nora would never have wanted this. No. What she wants is to live a long life in the warmth of the sun. Her hand in mine. Because of him, she'll only feel the icy touch of a man whose emotions run as cold as the blood in his veins. Where are the rest of you? Get in here and honor our bargain. Sir, you need to find the control panels for those cryogenerators and disable them. Warrior! Well, See how well you do when the air freezes in your lungs.
I can get underneath him, I can take him from below. Cryogenic containment failing. Prime subject, Nora Freeze, in danger. shouldn't have stuck your nose in my business. And here I thought I was going to have a problem explaining what happened in your lab. I mean, the police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. Cryogenic containment failing. Yeah. And that just leaves you. Please. You can save her. You just have to bypass the trial of some victor! Deep down! Oh, I'll keep you alive long enough to see her go! No! Breaking news out of North Gotham at this hour where protest has turned to celebration. Under extreme pressure from Gotham's citizens, Mayor Hill has just announced his resignation. While Hill has not ruled out a possible run for re-election in the new year, his resignation means that Peter Grogan will likely not be the next police commissioner of Gotham. Speculation has already begun about who the new mayor will appoint as commissioner, with many pundits naming GCPD Captain James Gordon as the frontrunner. And now to South Gotham, where Vicki Vale brings us this live report. Thanks, Janine. I'm standing at the corporate headquarters of Goth Corp, where Captain Gordon has confirmed that Goth Corp CEO Ferris Boyle has been taken into police custody. Police report that Mr. Boyle stands accused of manslaughter, extortion, and attempted murder. Shocking accusations given that just earlier tonight, he accepted the Wayne Foundation's award for Humanitarian of the Year. Also in custody is the notoriously elusive underworld crime boss Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin as well as a Gothcorp cryogenicist, Victor Freeze. Mr. Freeze is being held under heavy guard at Gotham General, receiving treatment for an undisclosed medical condition. Quincy Sharp has suggested that Mr. Freeze is yet another example of the type of criminal that needs the specialized care that only Arkham Asylum can provide. Police credit these arrests to solid police work, but this reporter suspects the vigilante known as the Batman had more than a small role to play. On a personal note, I owe Batman a debt of gratitude for rescuing me from almost certain death earlier this evening. So, thank you, Batman. For all of us. Back to you, Janine. Thanks, Vicky. The Batman continues to be one of the top stories this holiday season. So as we here at GNN wish you all a happy and safe New Year's Eve, we'll leave you with just a few of the comments you've made about Gotham's caped crusader. I was surrounded. Next thing you know, bam, boom, kapow! The bastards are all on the ground, KO'd. I didn't even see him coming. Oh, it was all a blur. He just whooshed in out of nowhere. Listen, I'm a cop. I can't condone what he does. But I can be grateful he's doing it. Oh, he's real, all right. I got the bruises to prove it. He's real, he's ruthless, and there ain't nothing in the world that's gonna stop him.
Congratulations, sir. Victor, Ferris, and even that scoundrel Cobblepot are all in custody. Shall we call it a night, then? Not yet, Alfred. There's still work to be done.